In this video, we're going to talk about the tools called directions and divide. And again, those are special tools that are available for Artistic Suite and Artistic Premium. And what we'll do is, I guess I'll just start by making a simple star shape and go ahead and left click and drag to create that star shape. And of course it comes in um, set with a white fill and a black outline and that white fill is in a step. Now, when you have a step fill, it has a fill direction. Okay, and so we can see that the stitches are kind of traveling, like kind of across the shape from this point to that point. Well, you can take control of that. If you select the shape, it says right here, directions. When you choose directions, you get a little red bead, which you can click and drag to choose the stitch direction. And it can be any direction. It can be only one direction. So I can make it 90 or zero or whatever angle I want, but I can only pick one. And that's how you set it. You choose directions. Now, if I choose to change the style of stitching to, let's say, satin, a satin, well, first of all, it has to try and figure out how to break up this shape. And it doesn't seem, obviously, to have done a great job. So we could decide how to drive, how to break that up. And before I even get into telling it what stitch directions I want, I'm going to use the div tool called divide because right now it's got kind of a big piece in the middle and then it's divided the top piece out and the bottom piece out. Can you see that? How it, it it's divided there and it's using this stitch angle for this and that for this. Well, okay. So if I choose my divide tool, I get a green bead instead of a red one. And so for example, if I click and drag, I have to drag across the shape and I've said, look, divide it there. And which is helpful, but it still doesn't quite get it. So I'm going to grab this this point and add another divide line there. And then I'm going to take one more time and divide one here. And so I, I basically told it that I wanted each one of these to be its own little piece and see how it knows now how to split them up. Now, the only thing is I want to take control of the stitch directions now. So I go to the directions tool and instead of having this one on this angle, I'm going to kind of make them all be on that similar style of angle. And so I think I just needed to do these three. I mean, you can put them on as all of them if you want to, but some of them were already kind of what I wanted. So the, now you can see how by using divide and directions, I can take a star like this and take it from what was kind of a flat looking step fill into a, you know, very nicely and neatly divided up satin fill. So really this goes for any shape, even if I draw my own shapes and I'll just draw like sort of a, you know, basically a kind of any shape. So let's see if I can make something that has kind of a little bit of a wow to it you know so it's something like this obviously in a step it just picks a fill angle but when i go to satin it's got to divide it to be able to give it the turning angle for this and that and if you didn't like the way it was divided or the directions you can add them so choose directions say we well, want i want to make sure the stitch angle looks like this here and so you can change it a little bit and there um, and I'm happy with the way it's turning here, but I'm not sure about the dividing. Maybe you want to take control of it and say, well, how about I give it a divide line and say, look, instead of dividing there, I'll divide it more like there. Or how about we divide it this way and make it, you know, be something totally different. So you can decide how to divide up and you'll find as you go forward with your skills and you create, you know, artwork you know, embroidery from artwork and there's lots of little places like this that there'll be times when you'll go in and use your directions to change the stitch directions or the divide to divide a shape up. So those are two uh, very helpful tools that come with the Artistic Suite software.